Here we have a voltage divider or a potential divider. It's made up of a voltage supply, a variable resistor and a thermistor. The resistance of the thermistor changes with the temperature. As the temperature goes up, the resistance of the thermistor goes down. Okay, now, the exciting part about the voltage divider is this V out. That is the voltage that is then passed on to be processed by another part of the circuit. Right. So we need to know how that voltage changes. So again, as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. There's another voltage here. I'll call it VT. Right. Now, so as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. VT is going to follow that resistance. VT is going to go down as well. And if VT is going down, V out will go up. Because V out plus VT equals the supply voltage. So once again, as it gets hotter, as the temperature goes up, the resistance will go down. Now the voltage VT, which is across that resistance, it goes down as well. So as VT goes down, V out goes up. So in the hot, V out is big. Okay. This part here, the variable resistor, it will adjust the sensitivity of the circuit. If that resistance gets bigger, the voltage across it will get bigger. Okay. If that resistance gets smaller, the voltage across it will get smaller. And as that voltage gets bigger, this one gets smaller. As this one gets smaller, that one gets bigger. Okay. Back to the start. As the temperature goes up, the resistance of the thermistor will go down. So if that resistance is going down, that voltage VT is also going down. So VT is going down, V out is going up. The variable resistor adjusts the sensitivity of the circuit.